Every animation starts with an idea. It usually takes a huge community of artists to see an animation through production. These artists are separated into teams called departments. Each department has a specific purpose to help build the final animation. This system is called the Animation Production Pipeline. In early development, a small team of artists create concept art, character design, and storyboards. After the approval of the visuals, they go to the next department. In the modeling department, modelers use specialized software to interpret the designs into 3D sculptures. After these models get approved, they are sent to the rigging department. Riggers give the characters the ability to move by building controls for the animators to use. This complex process is often automated with scripts so that the same controls can be used on several characters. Parallel to rigging, the look department develops how things like skin, hair, and cloth will look in a scene. They add texture and define how the objects respond to light. The next department is animation. This is where the characters come to life and tell the story. Once it's perfect, animations are baked into a geometry format that stores one pose for every frame of the animation for simulation and light. The simulation department creates items that are secondary to the performance and things that are too complex to animate by hand, water, hair, cloth, etc. The last stop is rendering. Rendering is the process of generating an image to produce a sequence ready for final assembly. Complex scenes could take as much as 24 hours for a single frame. That's a whole lot of waiting. The process of animation takes a lot. The pipeline may not always be linear and sometimes departments have to send files back and forth. But these departments all work together to help foster an idea and make it into a reality. And that's what makes up the animation production pipeline.